okay guys so this is the simple idea we're going to use to cut these six pieces okay we're gonna start cutting it from the side okay i know most of you want to start cutting six pieces from the center i don't know which angle you want to start cutting six pieces from some people start from the middle back but we're going to start cutting from the side right now and also if you have six yards of material you want to use to cut your six pieces okay and you want to initiate new pattern new idea of cutting the six pieces i want to advise you not to pieces those six yards okay don't pieces them or you cut out two or three yards and say this is for skirt and this one is for blouse all you need to do is just fold the whole six yard into two like for example now this material right now is up to uh four yards so i'm folding the whole four yards into two right now and i'm going to start marking the measurement of my skirt right now that is the measurement i display right here this the skirt uh, length is up to 47 all right and also the hip is the hip right there is 49 and you can see the waist is 39 also so we're gonna start with just the simple basics and the first thing you need to do is this if you first of all mark the length of the skirt okay you mark the full length okay whatever you want the length to be after you finish marking the length you get your new length like since this one is 47 now i want to make my new length 19 okay that is minus the waistband plus the waistband is going to be 20 all together okay i'm going to mark 19 for the new length and then i'll just put the hip um line as nine inches okay so from this um new length that i've marked right now i'm going to have to take a straight line from there which makes the pieces all right if you want your the pieces to be very full the fullness depend on how many inches you're going to give right here if you want the want it to be very full you can put it as much number as you want okay the bigger the number becomes the fuller the flea here will be so i don't want this to be very full so i'm just going to put it at five inches okay i'm just showing like a normal six pieces not too full and not that straight okay the same five inches that you have marked here and remember this whole line right now is straight so you're going to mark that same five inches here okay and also this is where your 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 skirt length start right so you come up to that waist area and mark the same five inches okay so the point of marking all this here right now is to use the ruler to get a straight line okay to get a straight line okay right now this is the waist the hip and the new length so from that new length now you're going to place the ruler also from here to the ending to the end part of the length okay it might not be covered in the whole video but you have an idea of what i'm trying to do so this is it you have something like this now as simple as this okay you have dropped something as simple as this side all right so the next thing you're going to do now whatever you want the wideness of the middle to be okay since this hip is uh, 49 of which i'm not going to make it that 49 it's going to be around 47 because there will be a, a puff at the back of the skirt so i'm going to make the wideness of the front like eight inches so right now i'm going to extend my tape out of this line by four inches okay that is four plus four is eight that's what i want the wideness of the middle to be so make sure the four inches enter the chalk okay enter the chalk by half that is eight inches right now so now with that same idea we are marking the hip measurement right now okay so and since it's 49 and i want to mark uh, 47 i'm going to mark the 47 here okay before 12 okay because i have to reduce the hip so that it will have a puff after sewing okay so you have marked the hip line right now the same four inches you extend out here come over here and do that same thing around the waist then you mark the waist right now this is the waist 39 all right you have marked the 39 well you can also come to the new area all right 
and mark whatever you want the hip to be depending on how narrow you want it to be some people just want the sorry i'm talking about the knee line right now depending on how narrow you want it to be some people want their knee to be very narrow like yeah the real mermaid sketch we're talking about but if you are sewing for someone that doesn't want it to be that tight depends on you can now choose the measurement that you want but since i'm sewing a thing like that something like a mermaid skirt right now so i'm going to put mine at number 10 all right that is 20 all together okay by the time I, the whole front will be 20 all round is going to be uh, 40 inches so right now you have marked the hip the knee and the waist so it's time to connect it right now all you need to do is just take the line straight to the hip right here you can see the drafting we're giving right now and then you take this one back to the waist and you can see the upper part right now we're beginning to arrange it okay so you're going to have to slant this one out the flare is going out so depending on how wide you want it to be if you don't want it to be too wide it depends on you so you can use the ruler if you know you cannot you know mark it very straight but let me just try to do uh, a professional thing here okay so right here i've marked the line and you can see the side is settled right now okay so all we need right now is just you add an allowance this is the sewing allowance we're starting to cut the skirt from the side of the whole thing okay so those are the side pieces all right so we need four of these that is two in front and two at the back and we're going to cut this particular one out right now Okay, do not leave too many allowance on uh, when you're cutting skirt or blouse or anything at all. Because if you leave too many allowance when it comes to this area like this, okay, it is not going to balance unless you use scissors to notch it out, which is a very bad idea to be notching out um, things like this. Okay, so we're going to cut this now. After we finish cutting it, we use it, we turn it the other way around in order to cut the second part that is going to be the back. So here we go. You see, we have removed this side right now. Okay. And right here, let's talk about management of material. You want to manage your material. And there's no way you're going to shift this one back there and cut it straight. So the best way for you to do this right now is to turn this particular one over to this leftover material. So we're going to do that right now and we bring this forward. So this is it. This is what we have to do. Okay. I turn the one that I just finished cutting. I turn it um, the other way around. And you can see this is the downside of it right now. Okay. So we're going to focus on the hip side. And I believe the coverage cannot cut that part now. So I'm going to shift it up here so you can see what we're doing. Okay. All we just need now is to use this same side to cut the next one. We are done cutting this all right we have finished cutting the whole side right now all we need now is the middle and the back center the center of the back and also the center of the front okay and right here we have four pieces of this now this is um we have two pieces right here all right we have two pieces right here I also have two pieces right here which means one is two are going to the back why two will remain in front okay so we're going to use the same thing now to cut the middle part of uh the the skirt you know when i put up video on internet on um, youtube is kind of like summary all the time because we're not going to waste our time saying we want to put everything on video if you want to do some if i want to do something like that there's no way people are going to understand what we're doing so i don't 
just put the whole lecture. I just want to summarize things like when we finish cutting this front right now, I might not put the back on the um, video. So that's it. So now, if I want to cut the middle part of this material right now, this is what I'll do. First of all, this is where we cut the first one. Okay, which means since we cut this one from here, you know this is the length of your whole skirt right now. So what you're just going to do is you draw a straight line from there. Okay, from here down now is your um, skirt length. So the same thing that you did when you're trying to cut this particular one, okay, you extended, you placed this and you extended your tape out by four inches. Okay, now this is the four inches here. You mark that four inches exactly okay you mark the four inches exactly by the time you finish sewing my going to seven and a half yeah it's more beautiful when the middle of skirt is not that wide okay and that's the reason why i asked you to shift the tape in so as you mark the four and a half here right you also mark another four and a half here okay then you're going to place your tape straight okay we want to use the measurement of this whole thing to cut the um, center part right now so right here we know our new length then was 19 inches right yeah our new length was 19 inches so you place the tape here four inches also and you mark it when you finish marking it if you if your hand is not that straight no problem you use a ruler to mark the straight line okay so now that you have finished marking this straight line this is this is like this is going to complete the hip right now this is two pieces right here and this is the middle so but except that when you get to this new length it's going this way okay so now we're going to use this to cut it all right so shift this in we're going to shift this in like this then we place this one okay so now that you place this one you can see that the line is the same with the first one that you have cut so you make sure you put it flat as flat as it is and use this side now to cut the whole front but if you want the front to be wider than from here if you want the front to be wider than the the sides there's no problem you can do it that way if you really want it to be full this same idea is used in sewing whatever kind of pieces you see if you want to sew 10 pieces you want to sew wedding gown this is the same idea depend on how you want it to be full you just keep extending the hole down okay and you know by the time you finish sewing a lot of people will ask you how did you do this so what we're going to do now we just cut the whole front and i'll show you what the front looks like and also I'll, i'm going to tell you how the back is supposed to be so i'll just cut this out right now So this is the middle and you see how the down looks like and when you open it up this is what it looks like and this is going to be the center All right and we have one of these all right the, the first side of the hip that's it and then we have this also so this is it you can see the whole hip everything they correspond they are they're on the same line so when you join them now it's really going to be flare so if you want to cut the back of it you're going to use this particular front to cut the back okay you're going to use this front to cut the back except that the only thing you're going to need, you're going to use the, this front to cut the back exactly when you place your own material to cut the back. You fold it into two. The whole wideness can be the same. If you want the back to be more wider than this front, it's not going to be added to this side. It's going to be added to this side. So when you get to this new length, that's when you start extending this out. And that's the reason why you, that's how they say they want to, when you hear people say they want to add a tail to a skirt that's the way they do it from here from this new length here they start you know covering the hand out and okay around this side also 
you can you know curve the the, the butt area out okay so this is exactly what i'm going to do next when my when the left rest of my material arrive that's what i'm going to do and when you do something like this okay by the time you want to sew it you still bring your hand out like that that butt area will be puffed and when it's puffed you can reduce from the hip measurement when you reduce from the hip measurement you know sometimes you're so scared and you find out that the hip area have a contour on the person's hip even if it's not the person's hip that's like that you find out that this cat puff out that's why because when someone have enormous hip like someone who is up to 50 and they have a very tiny waist if you so scared for them using that same 50 measurement it might be puffing out that way so the best thing you need to do is to use this same this kind of idea to give out um, a butt puff at the back in order for you to reduce the amount of inches that you have added at the back here you reduce it from the hip in order for the hip not to puff out that way okay this is the reason why you find out that when people when most people that have hip wear the skirt it matches the body the way it is okay the tailor that saw those things they are they are really really experienced tailor and they are very very good they are professionals that's the reason why they were able to come up with this kind of thing okay